Welcome back, fourth grade. It's Miss Esland again. I hope you enjoyed working on equivalent fractions last time. Today, we're going to work on comparing fractions. So turn to this page in your math packet. You will see that there are fractions up top that we're going to need to compare to find which one's greater and which one's less. And down below, there's no directions, but the goal here is to order fractions. Whether you want to order them least to greatest or greatest to least, it's your choice. But I would, if I were you, share my thinking down here with your teacher so that they know what order you chose to put them in. So looking up at the top, you can see that four sevenths and six sevenths, which one is greater? The nice thing about this is they have the same denominator. Therefore, I know that four out of seven, four pieces of seven, is less than six pieces of seven. And in the same, down below, the numerator is the same. So we can kind of think, which would be bigger, two pieces of 10 or two pieces of five? And so forth and so forth and so forth. There are several strategies you could use. You can compare on a number line. You can use other strategies you've learned in your classroom. You can use benchmark fractions like one whole, one half, zero, whatever you're most comfortable with. The biggest thing to remember is, you need to share your thinking with your teacher. Remember, they want to see what you were working on while you were gone. I hope you enjoy comparing fractions, and when we come back, we'll do some more.